<clears throat> a very good evening uh, to you all, uh, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we thank our Heavenly Father and the Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ, for giving this wonderful opportunity to discuss uh, His wonderful words of life, uh, uh, especially to study about uh, the volumes uh, which have been written uh, by His uh, chosen angel. Uh. So today, uh, as we have introduced uh, about the six volumes, uh, a rough outline about what all the six volumes are covered about. So we are going to uh, study about the uh, chapter uh, in the sixth volume that is named as Sundry Earthly Obligations of the New Creation. Okay, can uh, somebody read it in Nepali? Uh, Gopal brother, if you have the printout. Oh, I have brother. Okay. Uh, from the beginning, brother? Yeah, beginning from the heading. Uh, okay, brother. Naya Srishti ko bivinna daito haru. Sabe mani sarko drishti ma adar yogya kura haru prabandha gornu. Okay. Haru kunai pani kura ma kase ko rini na honu. Okay, one minute. So, here, uh, there are subheadings uh, that are given at uh, each and every ch beginning of the chapter. So this helps us to understand what actually is there in the volumes and uh, what points are covered and if in case uh, you see if you want to study later it will really be helpful. So the first thing that is covered in this volume is that uh, provide things honest in the sight of all man. So which are things reasonable as a new creation? See we are all living in the world. So what are things that has to be done, the things which are properly to be done and the things which are really to be avoided. So what are those things? So here our elder brother, you see, completely gives the details here. And the next point, he says, Oh, no man anything. That means we should not be in depth. That means we should have not have taken loan. So uh, we should not... Uh, Oh, anything means uh, what do we need to lend? Then, then uh, what is the thing that uh, uh, we should be owing? So, regarding these things uh, uh, that is covered here. Next, brother, continue, brother. Go for brother. Okay, so lend hoping for nothing. That means what? You see, when somebody asks for your help, you see, uh, regarding financial matters or regarding uh, any other matters. So, how should we lend? You see, how should we give? <clears throat> should we give it and forget it? Or uh, should we expect some benefit from them? Or should we expect any advantage from them? So, what does the scriptures say regarding this one? Next, brother. Huh? Christian sister, sir. Ah, Christian Sistachar. That means Christian courtesy. So what is this courtesy? Like, uh, like for example, you see, uh, we if we have any guest in our house or if we welcome somebody in our house, so how do we need to behave with them? So what is a reasonable way to treat them? How should we be treating them? And uh, a Christian courtesy, not only uh, treating the guest, you see, the guest as well, themselves, how should they behave when they, you see, go into a new place? So, regarding that one, it is mentioned there. Then, brother, let's continue, brother. Okay. So, that means, take no thought for tomorrow. You see? So, the Bible says, no? Jesus says, take no thought for tomorrow. Just see the wonderful sparrows. They don't even sow. They don't even reap, but God gives them food at a proper time. So you are much more worthy than the sparrow. So based on the scripture, you see, that Jesus says that you should not worry about tomorrow. So if, you, if, we, if we should not worry about tomorrow, then how can we manage our earthly affairs? So what does this verse actually mean? How much should we worry 
How much should we not worry? So we should think means uh, regarding which things we need to think. Uh, and regarding which things we should not think. Uh, you see, so that one is covered uh, under this uh, heading. Hmm. Continue. Very good. So my goal is Christ and Christ alone. So what does this mean? That means uh, Apostle Paul uh, told to leave everything completely, desolate everything, you see, and only concentrate on Christ. Uh, so what did you do for food? So what should we do for our living? So what is the meaning of that? Uh, my goal is only Christ and Christ alone. So what are things... Uh, you see, that are reasonable in the sight of God. Okay, brother. Next, brother. Dhani mani slai parmishwar ko rajya bitra pasnu bandha ot lai siyo ko natri bata chira jano sajila ancha. Very good. So this one we have studied in our basic class. It is easy for a camel to enter into the needle sai than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. So what is that uh, needle sai? How can a camel go through the needle's eye? Well, a small thread itself uh, uh, it passes through the needle's eye with great difficulty. And how is this compared to the rich man? You see, and how uh, it's very difficult for a rich man to enter while a poor person can easily enter. So, so this verse teaches us that uh, we need to be poor, you see, to go to the kingdom of heaven. But uh, today in the world we see Without any finance, without any money, without being rich, at least some uh, amount of uh, money with us, we are not able to do anything. We won't, won't be able to serve the Lord. You see, then what is this real meaning of, you see, a rich man can hardly enter into the kingdom of God. Everybody thinks that uh, if we have money, we can really serve the Lord. So what is this one? So how do we manage our <coughs> finances? Then next brother, huh? Bima Parisramik Lab Kalagi Kuleka Sastaru Adi. Very good. So insurance organization for mutual benefit, etc. Insurance. Huh? You have have insurance, no? You see, insurance is always better, isn't it? If something happens, uh, so insurance company will bear all our burden, we'll be free. So regarding this one, so what types of insurance should a new creature have? What about the organization, mutual benefit? You see, uh, so many unions are there. So, regarding this one, so we will cover this one uh, when we study. Okay, next, brother. Mm -hmm. Constantious meddling. That means unnecessary, you see, involving in others' matters. You see? So, how much we need to involve ourselves in others' matters? You see, so those things are covered because uh, usually, uh, you see, when we need to speak about God's words, it's very difficult. But when he, when uh, you see, a time is given for gossip, it is really very easy that uh, we sit and uh, you see chat hours together uh, regarding uh, things which are not in the scriptures. Uh, so, especially at that time, you see, uh, the natural flesh, you see, uh, pushes us to speak about, uh, you see, the worldly things and uh, things about others. Uh, see, meddling with some, some others, uh, you see, uh, matters. Uh, so, the flesh uh, craves for it. Uh, so, how do we need to handle that one? Next, brother. Huh? Ah, blessing God and cursing man. You see, when somebody hurts us, no, we immediately, immediately our natural man comes out and tells, let these things happen to him. You see, he's like that, he's like this, all those things. Sir. You see, so how can, uh, how much uh, can God's people, you see, uh, use this privilege, uh, you see, like blessing God and cursing man. Uh, you see, what does the Bible say? Can we curse anybody or can we bless anybody? Do we have so much of, uh, you see, power that we can bless somebody and because of blessings uh, of ours, uh, others people, uh, you see, maybe well off? How is it possible? Next, continue. Samajik Daitoharu. Ah, 
You see, social obligations. That means we are living in a society. Certain things are very important. We can't avoid it. So, which are the social obligations to which we need to give importance? Next. Sabailai adar garnu. You see, sabailai adar bano. So, honor all men. How can we honor all men? You see, there will be a drunkard uh, on the road. How can we honor all men? There will be a corrupt politician. How can we honor all men? You see, so what is this limitations of uh, honoring all men? Did Jesus honor everybody? You see, did he honor really the Pharisees and Sadducees? Uh, you see, so what are these things? Uh, so what is the level that we need to honor all men? Then, hmm. Ah, election, you see, you have in your place no elections. Five years once or six years once, brother, in your place? In five years. Every maybe. five years, brother. Oh, five years. So every five years you go for voting. So should the new creature vote? You see, if you need to vote, to whom to vote? So how do we select? You see, as new creatures, how do we prepare our mind? You see, regarding elections. Next. Uh. Naya Srishti ra Naitik Sudhar Haru. Mm -hmm. Naya Srishti Naitik Sudhar Haru. You see, that means what? Moral reforms, new creature and the moral reforms. There are so many organizations today social welfare organization, you see, non-government organization, you see, who help the poor, who build hospitals, you see, who construct home for the age, who take care of the orphans, feed them. Such type of work, how much can the new creation do? Whatever you should do or not, you see, how many of the apostles did these things? You see, did uh, Jesus help anybody or did he build any home for the age or schools? So, we are going to study this one. Next. Mohango Pahiran Lagane Bari. Ah, wearing a costly apparel. You see, very coming very tip top, suit, boot, get everything. You see, neatly dressed with tie, all those things and all. You see. Very gentleman like thing. So, yeah, that's good. Look very smart. You see, and uh, wearing costly apparels, you see, full of uh, necklace, uh, chain, you see, uh, golden armaments, uh, you see. So, how much can a new creation uh, give importance to such things? Uh, you see, some people are very, very curious about dressing. You see, very give importance to dressing and buying uh, costly, expensive apparels. You see, huh? So, as a new creature, how much do we dedicate ourselves for this, you see, costly things, what we use in our life or purchase in our life? Okay. Mami Mahima, Adar Amaratale Sajina Ka Lagi Parkhaun. Very good. So, let us all wait for the honor, glory, immortality, that is the divine nature. That is the wonderful apparel which we all can wear okay now let us come to these headings one by one and study okay brother gopal brother continue uh. sabai manis harko drishti ma bhala dekhine kura harko pahile dekhi chinta gara okay romans 12 17 so this verse provide things honest in the sight of all men which is actually a quotation from book of Romans 12th chapter verse 17. We all know about Romans 12th chapter. Apostle Paul completely discusses the new creation, how he has to live in this world in Romans 12th chapter. Dear brethren, we clearly know in Romans 12th chapter first verse, Apostle Paul, you see, request the brethren to offer their bodies as a living sacrifice which is a reasonable, you see, service which they can do for the things which God has done in their life. You see, and after, you see, telling about our consecration, Apostle Paul continues to, you see, give so much instructions 
to the new creation as to how they have to be in this world and when he mentions so many things one of the important point which apostle paul tells is that provide things honest in the sight of all men so how do we live in the sight of everybody when we are living in the society you see you know we are living uh, among the society where all the people are there so when we are living in the society so how should we be okay now let us now let us continue what our brother has to give the explanation for this verse uh, uh would uh, brother gopal would you like to continue you, you can continue There's, we can complete the entire paragraph okay brother jab naya srishti haru sansar ka nimti satchai mare ka tara hamra prabhu yesu christ dwara parmeshwar ka nimti jiunda bhae ka thanin chan yo rupak vasya परिवर्तित आशा र लक्ष्य र महत्वाकांक्षाहरूको सम्बन्धमा पूर्ण रूपमा लागू हुन्छ पहिलो पुनरुत्थानमा नयाँ शरीरको प्रतीक्षामा जबकि नयाँ विचार अझै पनि मानव शरीर मार्फत सञ्चालन हुन बाध्य छ यसले संसारमा भएका संगीहरूप्रतिको केही जिम्मेवारीहरू स्वीकार्नु पर्दछ जसरी क्षणिक आवश्यकताको मामिलाहरूमा संसारिक सांसारिक परिवार र विश्वासको घराना प्रति यसको जिम्मेवारीहरू छ र यी सुस्त वा कम हुनुको सट्टा विचारको रूपान्तरणद्वारा झन् बढ्दछ त्यस्तै यो साथी सङ्गीहरूप्रतिको केही निश्चित कर्तव्यहरूको सन्दर्भमा पनि हुन्छ that uh, once we are consecrated we offered our body as a living sacrifice to god so that is the time that uh, god considers us that we are dead to the world we are no more alive to this world in the sight of god though we might be living in the flesh in sight of god we are really dead to the world you see and we are alive only as new creatures so whom does god deal with if you see god is doesn't deal with us you see just because we are old creatures god actually deals with us because we are new creatures his entire dealing is with the new creature and uh, where is this uh, new creature if you see dear brethren you see the new creature is inside the you see old uh, creature so it is not at born you see it will be born only in the first resurrection you see we are all have studied this one in the uh, subject of the church you see we are begotten of the holy spirit now the holy spirit the holy mind is growing within us as like a small child is growing in the mother's womb so daily we need to feed it with uh, god's words and make it strengthen and strong so once if it is strong then only it will be born as a new creature after death uh, that is as a spirit being so until that time we will be there in this body therefore what does the bible say can somebody read colossians third chapter brother colossians third chapter verse 1 2 and 3 colossians third chapter verse 1 2 and 3 joel pardon joel okay colossian brother third chapter 1 2 and 3 brother okay if ye then be risen with christ seek those things which are above where christ seated on the right hand of god set your affection on things above not on things on the earth for ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Okay, correct. So, we are uh, dead to the world and uh, our life is uh, hid in Christ with God. So, Apostle Paul encourages that uh, you should set our affections on the things of above. So, if we really set our uh, affections, you see, as per the scriptures, completely 100% uh, 
on the things of our not completely not even caring anything about the earthly affairs uh, is it possible to you see sustain in this world uh, definitely not possible at all as we are still living in the flesh uh, you see dear brethren we have certain responsibilities uh, you see those responsibilities we need to fulfill when we are living in the flesh we can't avoid all those things uh, you see we can't tell that uh, oh we are all heavenly beings we are of the we are the uh, children of the kingdom so we won't do that one we won't do this one you see so all those things you see we can't avoid you see so being in this world we have certain responsibility so what is our responsibility who is our responsibility you see dear brethren first of all as human beings we have some human ties you see human relationship like uh, we would be having a father we would be having a mother we would be having a sister you see a brother a wife uh, children so that responsibility is there with us we can't tell that uh, as soon as we are consecrated uh, so there is no need for us to follow any of these things there is no need for us to take care of them god will take care of everything uh, you see there are some social obligations dear brethren there are some responsibilities towards our fellow men you see so who is our fellow men if you see all our neighbors and especially who are related to us who have dealings with us these are our fellow men like uh, every day in our day to day activities who is our fellow men especially those who are blood related to us it may be a father mother or personal sister you see a children but apart from that one you see when we are working uh, you see uh, in the world you see dear brethren there is uh, a environment where we work uh, among the you see fellow workers uh, they might be not be in the truth they are in the world but yet uh, we have responsibilities towards them so when we are among them you see dear brethren we have certain responsibilities uh, so we need to fulfill those responsibilities uh, you see uh, and uh, this is one of the part but apart from that one we have a great responsibility among the brothers and sisters especially in the truth naturally we had fresh uh, you see and blood uh, who we had uh, relatives you see next uh, you see comes uh, our uh, workplace uh, and the society you see but uh, ultimately there is one closer relationship which we have is that we have with our brethren the brothers and sisters in christ so we can't just uh, casually be or behave anything whatever we want we can't do you see brethren there are some responsibilities sir so this is what apostle paul says provide things honest in the sight of all men why 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 should we provide what is necessary is my life i can do whatever i want you see i i know the bible i have consecrated i can live whatever way i want but why it is very important you see dear brethren to provide things honest in the sight of all men dear brethren because as new creatures you see whatever we do you see you see the glory goes to god isn't it you see uh, let us read a few verses uh, like uh, Jesus said no Matthew 5th chapter let your light shine among men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven uh, Matthew 5th chapter brother Matthew 5th chapter verse 16 uh, Munna sister can you read Matthew 5:16 Okay brother let your light so shine before men that the they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in, in heaven very good see uh, our uh, character you see should be like a light in this world it seems and that uh, behavior or uh, you see that uh, character should shine before men it seems uh, not doing some wonderful or uh, great things before men to gain their attraction no our behavior should be in such a way that uh, it should shine like a light now uh, you see among the dark world in contrast to the world our character should be 
like a light in this world dear brethren which really reflects the you see the the character which is mentioned in the bible you see and what is the blessing of this one if you see uh, jesus christ says that uh, that your father in heaven may be glorified seeing our good behavior you see dear brethren who gets a good name if you see our father who is our father our heavenly father is our almighty god you see just think imagine uh, if you are going on the road you see uh, we would have done all these things uh, you see probably in our school days you see when we will be returning uh, from the school you see along uh, with our parents and friends and uh, brothers and sisters and all you see imagine if we do some mischief uh, in the road what will the people tell uh, seeing at us uh, they will tell you see what type of child uh, is this he is so disobedient he is not at all obeying what type of uh, parents are there how they are you see nurtured the child you see he is so adamant uh, you see that's what uh, the people will tell the people rather scolding the child they will immediately pinpoint the finger towards the parents they but then you see in such way it is actually a insult for the parents but imagine if that child is a very good child you see a very brilliant child you see who uh, would who is very good and uh, very good in helping nature a very soft uh, child you see what happens uh, you see the people looking at the child uh, immediately the people will say oh such a good child what good behavior you see what good ethics uh, it says uh, you see really your parents are very blessed to have such a child the people will say no it is the same way with our uh, new creation dividend so whatever we do you see it has a reflection upon our god's character you see whether we do good or we do bad everything you see adds a points to our uh, you see our consecration you see therefore apostle paul you know what did apostle paul say uh, read first peter 2 first peter first peter um, first peter second chapter verse uh, 11 and 12 uh, amar brother can you read romans uh, sorry i mean first peter second chapter 11 and 12 Amar brother, can you read? Is it possible? First Peter, second chapter, eleven and twelve. ये प्रिय हरु मोतिनी परदेशी हरु रा यात्री हरलाई बिंती गर्दसु प्राण को विरोध मा युद्ध गर्ने सारी अभिया अभिलाषा हरु बाटा अलग बस राति बीच में असल चाल चलन देखा ताकि जो कुरा में कुकर्मी तिनी 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 को विरोध में बोल तिनी का असल काम देखे ती कुछ कारण तिनी न्याय को दिन में परमेश्वर को महिमा करो वेरी गुड सो न्याय परमेश्वर को महिमा करेक्ट ना सो मीन वॉट युसी वी वी युसी शुड बी वेरी कॉशियस वॉट इज इज हैविंग अवर कन्वर्जेशन अमंग द जेन्टाइल्स युसी वेरी होली दैट मीन्स वी शुड नॉट बी बिहेविंग द सेम वे एज अ they behave the or they react you see why because uh, you see dear brethren uh, they should glorify god when they see our behavior how will they glorify god when will they glorify god the scriptures clearly says during the day of judgment or during the day of visitation you see when the lord uh, you see uh, is going to visibly establish his kingdom you know all the people will come back uh, in the resurrection you see all the people all the dead people will come back uh, back to life on this earth uh. but who will not be there on this earth see when the resurrection happens everybody will come back to life now 
But who will not be there in the earth? Tell me. Who will not be there on the earth? Uh, Brother uh, Raj, allow me to translate in Nepali. Probably okay. didn't get the end question. Hazar varsa ma chai punarathan uda khiri sapai jana human restitution ma espriti ma punarathan unchan. Par tiyan chai kune barga aru chai uda na. Kun barga chai uda na espriti bhi ma. Sister Romi. Kun barga chai espriti bhi ma punastapana uda na. Little flock. Hmm, little Very good. Very good. So, little flock won't be there. So, apart from little flock, which other group? Orkupani cha, little flock bag, orkupani cha. Spiritual nature ma, bari ot ne, tini orkupani, santhar ko, prithivi ko, human restoration ma bhaag ote na, bhaagi ote na, orkutyo, orkutyo group cha, ko ola, is there room in it? Great multitude. Very good. So, these two group of people uh, won't be found in the world resurrection, in the general resurrection, when the resurrection will happen for the entire world. So, the church will be missing. You see? Then, the people will definitely inquire. So, who is the church? You see? Huh? Ashish, brother, is the church. Gopal is the church. Munna, sister, is the church. You see? Joel, brother, is church. Romi, sister, and Amar brother, they are the church, you see. In the thousand years, so we won't be visible on this earth. What will happen? You see, the neighbors will come and ask. Huh? One brother was there, no, Gopal, he was there, he was telling us about the Bible. Anil brother will come in the resurrection in the world. He will question, where is brother huh? Gopal? Where is brother Ashish? Where is Amar brother, Joel brother, Romi sister? We would all be missing. Uh, and such time, you see, the people will really come to know, you see, what has happened to the little flock. Everybody, each and every brother, you see, will come to know. Each and every human being will come to know about who has gone to the 1,44,000 and who has gone to the great multitude. Each and every details will be very clear in the thousand years. You know, the Bible says, that in thousand years, there is going to be a census that is going to happen to the entire world. You see, there is a scripture, please read Psalms 87 verse 5 and verse 6. Uh, Joel brother, can you read Psalms 86, 5, sorry, 87, 5 and 6? Okay, brother, five and seven. Ah, five and six. Okay. And of Zion, it shall be said, this and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count when he retired um, of the people that this man was born there. Hmm. Selah. Okay. Yeah, very good. Can I read it in Nepali? Can somebody read it in Nepali? Loudly? Sister Muna. Ani siyun ko bisay ma yo bani ne sa. Yo manis ratiyo manis ese ma zon me ko thiyo. Ani param pradhan afay le is lai istapit gornu ne sa. Jati Jati Kamani Sarule Nam Diknuda Param Prabhule Gornu Unesa Yu Mani Stehan John Miku. Hmm Jati Jati Nam Liknaka. Huh? That means what? In thousand years there will be a census. You see, each and every body who all lived, you see, on this earth, each and every person's census will happen. Then what will happen now? You see? And of Zion it is said that this man and that man is born here. That means at that time it will uh, be very clear that some persons are missing. Uh, the great multitude, the little flock are missing. So where are they? You see, where are they? You see, the people will come to know that this man is born there. That this man, that this person is no more on this earth. 
but they have made their calling election sure or they have gone to the heavenly salvation. During such time, you see, our, you see, testimony should be not a bad testimony. None of the people, you see, when they come in the resurrection should come and say, oh, this person was very bad person. He's not really fit to be in that position. Nobody should come and say during the thousand years. Now they will say, now you see, definitely the people will not appreciate us 100%. Like uh, the uh, people of Israel, they never appreciated uh, the works of Jesus. Uh, you see, though Jesus uh, provided things uh, honest in the sight of everybody, he did not harm anybody. He did not speak evil about anybody. He did, uh, you see, God's will. But he was very strong in God's will. He never compromised with God's will. That was a thing that was very hurting uh, for the people of Israel. He let his light shine, uh, you see. But only the few people recognized it. Uh, Bible says, no, Jesus is the light of this world. Uh, but uh, the light came, you see, the people did not recognize that light. Uh, Jesus is the light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. But the world did not recognize him, dear brethren. So, not many people will recognize us. But, uh, you see, First Peter 2, 21, what does it say? During the days of visitation, during God's kingdom, they will all come and tell, yes, truly, these are worthy ones. You see, that testimony, you see, we should be having. Uh, so, that shows... How, you see, great responsibility as a new creature we have on this earth because whatever we do, you see, we are carrying forth not only our name, but we are carrying forth God's name with us. That is very, very important, dear brethren. See, whatever little we do, whatever great or sound, anything we do, you see, it has a greater effect on our God's character. You see, see, Therefore, we should, uh, as a new creation, we should be very cautious. Let us read one verse. Uh, why, why is it not necessary that we should be very cautious? Just let, let us try to understand the feeling of God. Read Romans 3rd chapter. Romans 3rd chapter. Romans sister, please. Romans 3rd chapter. Uh, verse 10, 11, 12. Mm. Romans 3rd chapter, verse 10, 11 and 12. In Nepali, brother? Ah, any language, whichever you are comfortable. Okay. Just the leaky echo, sir. धर्मी कोई चाहिए ना ये उठे पनी चाहिए ना बुझने कोई चाहिए ना और मेरे शोला को बुझने कोई चाहिए ना तीन यारों सब ये ठीक परमेश्वर ने को जा कहीं चाहिए ना दैट मीन्स व्हाट अ देर इज नन दर सीक्रेट गॉड इमेजिन नॉट इवर वन पर्सन इन दिस वर्ल्ड आ सिंसियरली सीकिंग गॉड इट सीम्स जस्ट इमेजिन द क्रिएटर � he has created the entire universe for what? The entire world is created for whom? It is created for man. Isaiah 45, 18. It says, no, God never created the earth to be in vain. He wanted it to be inhabited with human beings. God has created everything for human beings. Just see what all things we have among ourselves. These are all the blessings which God has given us. Even after we sinning against God, God did not take away all these things. You see, but in spite of God doing so many things, what does the Bible say? There is not even one who seeks God sincerely. You see, that is the, the you see, uh, the mind of God, uh, you see, and the, the feelings of God, uh, you see. The whole world is his. The whole world is created, uh, you see, for the mankind, for his good. But uh, not even one person seeks without any selfishness, you see, to the love God. 
dear brethren even uh, we also you see we are also part of that uh, uh, everybody who doesn't seek god why you know dear brethren we all love god now why do we love god you see why do we love god if i ask this question what will you answer what will be what will be your answer gopal brother why do you love god what is your answer Uh, because he has loved us. Very good. He has loved us, isn't it? That's a very, very important point, no? Huh? Munasita, what's your opinion? Why do you love God? Because he has a great plan for us. Wonderful, sister. He's got a great plan. You see, his always plan are very good. It's very, very good and very... You see, interesting towards us. It doesn't do any evil to us. He has got a good plan for us. You see? Okay. Joel Budar, what's your opinion? He sacrificed for us. Very good. He sacrificed for us. He gave everything for us. You see? Huh? He gave. He has, he has dedicated everything. You see, sacrifice means what? Letting his own preference. Imagine. A father in the house, sometimes they sacrifice everything. No, why? You see, why? Because they want the family to live happily. You see, they 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 travel to remote places. You see, they work very hard. You see, there are so much ups and downs in the place they work. You see, so many scoldings they get. But why do they sacrifice? They don't express all these things before the family. But but why do they sacrifice? Because they want. The family to be good. This is the same way. You see, God sacrifices everything, dear brethren. His favorite son, Jesus, was always good. There's nothing wrong about him at all. Nobody could pinpoint anything negative about him. Even that son who is very close to the father. The Bible says no, he was very close to the father, who was in the bosom of the father. That means he was his heart. Even that one God sacrificed for us. Very good. Okay, Romy sister, how about you? His love is unconditional. Very good. Unconditional love, no. God doesn't put any condition. If you do this one, I'll do. No. You see, today, how is the world? You see, it's a mutual understanding. But our system, you give me, I'll give you. You don't give me, I don't give you. You be here, you be there, I'll be here. But God is not like that. You do good or not, I will do. That is our God. What did God tell to Abraham? You see, he took a oath upon himself. You know, what is the meaning of that one? You know, oath means what? If I fail, you know, what is the meaning of oath? If somebody fails while keeping the promise, it means that he should die. You see, when God has taken a oath, it means he is immortal. He can't die. Being immortal, if he has taken an oath, it means that you will definitely keep it. To whom did God make such a promise? For who? For which purpose? For the sinner's day, brethren. Nobody will do all these things for a sinner. Imagine if, uh, if there is a beggar on the roadside, you see, a beggar who is always drinking, you see, always doing all filthy work, you see, always creating nuisance, you see, uh, not a very good person. Will he go and, uh, will we go and sacrifice, uh, you see, ourselves to him? Will we we'll go and do good to him? You see, will we give our ch children to him? Will we give our food to him? You see, no, we have, we will maintain distance, uh, but God's condition was unconditional. God's love was unconditional. We have some conditions. You see, we won't allow them and make them to come and sit down on the sofa. Come, come, come. Please welcome. Please have food with us on the dining table. No. Our love is conditional. But see the love of God. It is unconditioned. You see, next. Uh, Amar brother, what's your opinion? Uh, because he created us. Yes, he has created us. See the wonderful creation of God. God has given two eyes. If God has given one eye, how would it be? Given one mouth. If God has given two mouths, isn't it? 
beautifully god has created no so wonderful no human beings are so nice to see no you see so loving they can think they can feel you see they can express the emotions it is god likeness to brain we can we can reproduce our own children what beautiful thing no isn't it having a small baby in our hand like a small doll you see so this is the feeling of god has done all these things for whom for us ashish brother your opinion brother uh because he had he had paid the equal and corresponding ransom price for me and for all of us definitely very good ransom you see who will pay a ransom dear brethren the bible says in psalms 49 huh eh? who will pay a ransom for a sinner you see who can find a ransom for a sinner nobody can find dear brethren nobody will pay nobody will pay their life for us will anybody give their life for some other people You see, nobody will give a mobile. Nobody will give an even a bike also for other people. But uh, you see, Jesus has paid a ransom. Dear brethren, what all points you told are very good, absolutely correct. Now think in the sight of God. God has done all these things for mankind. What has man done? What has man done? You tell me. Not even one good thing. That's what the Bible says. There is none that seeketh God. Imagine a father of the family. Place yourself. You are all the responsible persons in the family. You are all fathers. You are parents. Imagine you have done what all you are told. Imagine that you have done the same thing for your family, but your family doesn't even care for you, or if they doesn't even recognize you, that doesn't even honor you. You see, respect you also. How do we feel? We feel. as if uh, we are let down as if uh, we are cast out uh, dear brethren but uh, still god cares for us uh. therefore uh, bible says when nobody is caring about god nobody is even concerned about god uh. you see apostle paul says provide things <coughs> honorable in the sight of men so that they may see your behavior and at least through you people let uh, god uh, have that glorification you see therefore our lifestyle you see dear brethren our behavior you see carries a lot more uh, importance uh, if we were in the world you see that would not be in uh, a very great thing uh, because but now our god is seeing us each and every moment uh, you see each and every step of our life uh, You see, it's been monitored by God. The Bible says, "Now in Chronicles, it says, 'You see, the eyes of the Lord are moving to and fro in this earth, seeing who is righteous.' You see, so our behavior should be very, very, you see, very. What do you say? Very, ah, huh? very holy. Of course, uh, we don't have such. Uh, you see, what do you say?" Uh, the tendency and uh, all this maturity to all to behave this one but uh, you see as new creatures we have additional responsibility because uh, you see if we do something in this world uh, thing will happen few days people will remember us automatically people will what uh, what will happen uh, people will forget us uh, you see so only god name will be eternal forever therefore our behavior should be very very cautious to your brethren therefore we have greater responsibility uh, i like, like for example isaiah 53 can somebody open isaiah 53 brother isaiah 53rd chapter mm. verse 1 2 and 3 anybody okay ramesh sir one two hmm one two three hmm kosle hamro samachar aur vishwas gareko cha ani kas kaha param prabhu ko akura prakat bhayeko cha kin bhayeko cha kinaki u waha ko samu euta पलिलो मुना जस्तो र सुक्खा भूमिबाट निस्केको 
जरा जस्तो बढ्ने छ उसको न रूप न शोभा नै छ अनि जब हामी उसलाई हेर्ने छौ तब उसमा यस्तो कुनै सुन्दरता छैन कि हामीले उसको चाहना गरौ सी नो सुन्दरता ह करेक्ट न सी नो सुन्दरता व्हाट इज से ह व्हेन वी सी व्हेन द व्हेन द पीपल सॉ जीसस Jesus was, was looking as if he was completely rejected of God. You see, nobody could trust Jesus that he was the Messiah. Nobody could understand or accept Jesus. Jesus was like that, dear brother. So similarly, our condition will be in the same way. Not everybody will accept. But yet, we need to live a life which is pleasing to God. You see, Jesus was one who came out of a dry ground. no form no compl no what do you say no comeliness no beauty you see people of israel expected the messiah to be a very beautiful character you see a wonderful person you see uh, his looks as if a person looks at jesus they should immediately recognize that this is the messiah but jesus did not come like that so similarly you see dear brethren our uh, you see influence in this world will be the same way but yet we need to provide things which are reasonable in the sight of god how did jesus be in this world you see jesus uh, uh, never walked uh, as if like a hero tall apostles six apostles six side six apostles this side and jesus was walking center and all the disciples was carrying his suitcase and jesus did not come like a hero oh everybody okay 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 hallelujah amen everybody sit down okay come lee no jesus was a very simple person you see he in the sight of everybody he was a very simple person dear brother he did not have any grand thing or any magnificent thing any strange thing apart from all the people he was like one among them you see when uh, uh, jesus was arrested you see he was uh, put to uh, what you for trial in the synedrin uh, when the uh, Jesus uh, was put uh, among the priest uh, high priest they all questioned him you see uh, peter was there only he was uh, you see among the uh, all the people immediately people recognized the peter saying that you were among them or you were one of him that means how did they differentiate between peter and uh, jesus uh, you see there there was no much difference there with them they both looked alike he was a very simple person uh, You see, so in the sight of uh, the people of Israel, Jesus did not show off himself to be a very grand and elaborate person, dear brethren. That was the lifestyle of Jesus. Uh, you see, and this lifestyle, being a very simple person, but yet, uh, you see, you see, with a great behavior, with great maturity, his lifestyle brought uh, glory to God. Uh, you see, so many people gave testimony. You know, when he when he died. You see, truly, this is the son of God. Yes, this was the son of God, but we did not recognize him. Pilate, imagine Pilate. What did uh, Pilate do? You see, when everybody told crucify him, Pilate told no, no, I can't crucify him. I have no uh, such uh, intention. What, what bad has he done that you should crucify him? There is a choice for you. Choose Bar- Barabbas or. Jesus, what did the people do? What did the people choose? You see, they choose Barabbas. Dear brethren, all these things God is seeing. There is not even one who cares about God. There is not even one who sincerely seeks about God. Dear brethren, even we also we are not seeking God just because you see some we have love upon God. We are seeking selfishly only because you all give answers, no? That is absolutely right. That's the human tendency. God loved us, therefore we are loving. He has sacrificed, therefore I am sacrificing, isn't it? If God wouldn't have sacrificed, if God wouldn't have loved us, if God has not made any plan for us, will I still love God? That is the main question, dear brother. That is our that is that attitude should should come to us. See that that is the Christian maturity. If nothing good happens in our life, if everything goes against me, no problem. yet i will love god that is the you see the character that is the person sir you see god is today seeking 
these are the little flock therefore apostle paul says provide things reasonable so that they may you see glorify god how was jesus i told you, you know example of a roman centurion giving a testimony they all glorified god at when not when jesus was alive after his death the bible says you see there were 500 people ah huh? 500 people came to ah huh? believe of jesus after his death not before his death before his death only 11 people were there with him and some few sisters like mary mary magdalene and art but after the death of jesus the bible says 500 people were there you know can somebody tell me where is it was do somebody remember that there were 500 people before the pentecost 500 people believed in jesus do you have somebody remember the verse anybody okay read please read first corinthians 15 chapter first corinthians 15 chapter brother anybody uh, verse 6 verse 5 and 6 you can read um ani wahale ke pas kaha तेस पच्ची बारह जहाँ कहाँ बारह जना कहाँ देखा पढ़ने भाई हो तेस पच्ची वहाँ एक ही चुटी पांच साई बंदा बेसी भाई और कहाँ देखा पढ़ने भाई हो जस में ते देरी जसो आइले समझ आते सं तर कती चाहिए सुती सके हाँ अमनी पीपल फाइव हंड्रेड पीपल यू सी फर्स्ट ट्वेल्थ देन फाइव हंड्रेड पीपल बिफोर रिजर्वेशन आफ्टर रिजर्वेशन अ Three thousand people, dear brethren. That was the testimony of Jesus, dear brethren. So similarly, you see, our life also should be there. Okay. So uh, we will uh, stop uh, this volume study here. Uh, I hope uh, uh, it was a blessings. Uh, it was useful. So uh, anybody has got any questions? Uh, anything uh, they want to speak? Uh, you are all free to speak. any suggestions any questions any doubts you have okay so